More women helping fund startups, venture capital legislation, and a big expansion for one local tech company. The president of the Wisconsin Technology Council, Tom Still, with us this afternoon. Tom, great to see you. Great to see you. Your latest article uh, really looked at how many more women right now are getting into angel and venture funding. Talk about why we're seeing this. Oh, I, I think we're seeing it for a, a, a number of reasons. I think many times these are women who were entrepreneurs and did well with their companies over time and decided to get in, into the investor side of things. And that's not always been the case in, in angel or venture capital. It's been uh, very much a male-dominated field, and, uh, but it is starting to change, and especially here in Wisconsin. Talk about venture capital, and, and this is an issue right now. It's a hot button in our state legislature. We may be seeing some changes. Why should the average person out there that maybe venture capital isn't necessarily a part of their everyday vocabulary be paying any attention to this topic? Jobs. It, that, I mean, that's the one w word answer for it because venture-backed companies in the United States overall have created uh, 12 million private sector jobs. That's about 11% of the private sector workforce. It's a really a disproportionate share. If we had more venture capital in Wisconsin and we have all the other ingredients, we would see um, a huge increase in the number of jobs that are created here over time. It's not an overnight prescription. But it is something that would actually produce high wage jobs and as, as well as just jobs. So these are people giving back to other people hoping to really get a business off the ground. Well, venture capital is all about return on investment uh, and it's, all, it's about making the right investments, but they're, but they're really done in a very smart way and they pick strategic areas and the kinds of companies that are invested in are the ones that are, that are likely to grow. And, and it's, it's really been uh, a trend over uh, certainly the last 20 years or so in the United States. Well, it's really neat to know that more women are, are getting into mm -hmm. that area. All right, speaking of growth, Promega, we're getting a groundbreaking on a big new expansion today. Mm -hmm. And then you want to touch on 94 Labs, too. Two big companies right now that are doing a lot kind of under the radar. Sure, it's, it's, it's an interesting bookend, I guess you'd say, of launches today. Promega, obviously has been around the Madison area for we a long time. We were out time. at the groundbreaking today, if we it, can roll. Yeah, and, and uh, a great company, does work around the world. Uh, they're, they're building a new manufacturing facility, would employ about 100 people over time, uh, 100 people in science jobs, which uh, pay about 80,000 on average. So those are uh, really Good above jobs. average jobs in terms of the salaries and 150 construction jobs while it's going on. Real quick, 94 Labs. 94 Labs is the other end of the spectrum. This is all software. Obviously, Promega is a life science company. Software company, uh, a lot of young startups uh, really geared towards software and mobile applications. So two ends of the tech spectrum in Madison that are it's, it's kind of coincidental, both launching today. And 94 Labs, company uh, probably not a lot of people have heard about, so. No, not a company lot. Company to watch for. Exactly. All right, Tom Still, always great to see you. Thanks Good so to much see for you, coming Carly. in today. Thank you.